things that's often fairly complicated to tackle is the modeling of complex shapes in Blender uh, from reference images. Um, I'm going to show you one approach using a combination of, of uh, editing, meshes, and extrusion uh, using uh, these reference images. So I have a handy penguin that I would like to model here. I'm looking from the front and from the side. I've lined him up. And I'm going to model him using this cube. And I'm going to do something a little bit nefarious here. I'm going to, I'm going to start by switching to, oops, switch, selecting the cube and switching to edit mode. And then in edit mode, in orthographic view, I'm going to allow myself to select background vertices. So when I select the top vertices here, I'm selecting not just the front ones that I can see, but also the ones in back that I can't see. And I am going to scale these out so that they are about the width of my penguin chest. It's going to require a little bit of side to side wiggle there. So that is my basic penguin chest. I'm going to select the bottom ones. I'm going to scale these out to his hips. Again, it's going to involve a little bit of a side-to-side -side wiggle. In fact, I noticed that he's got a little bit of a bump out there that I want to model. So my penguin now has a little cubic belt around him. This is, at least from this angle. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start extruding. So if I select a face, as I just have, I can then type E to extrude, and this then pulls a region, whatever face I've got selected, out along its normal axis, adding a new uh, component to, to the shape I'm working on. So I can take this and I'm going to pull it in and line it up as, a, as I can with the penguin shoulders. I'm going to keep extruding here, scaling, and line it up. So I'm basically tracing the general shape of my penguin here using this cube. Now, if I do this over time, uh, you, what, what you'll eventually see is I have the whole penguin traced out from this angle. And that's kind of the tricky thing, right? It's from this angle. The uh, if I'm going to do just, just the top of half of them right now for expedience. If I switch to the right side, we see this penguin doesn't really line up at all. This is, this is kind of problematic. So now, as I look at this, I know it lines up from the front, but from the side, I want to move things along only the Y axis so that this side view also lines up. So I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to be very careful when I do my movements to make sure I'm constraining myself to the Y axis. For example, when I scale this, I want to scale it only along Y. So I'm going to type S and then Y to constrain this to the, along the Y axis, pinch it in. I'm going to select these, slide them over. That looks like it's actually probably a pretty good fit, but I can't quite tell because I can't see through it. So I'm going to switch to wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. And I see, oh, I'm off by a little. We'll see in a second that this is, does not have to be an exact, exact process. But in fact, as I do this, if I'm careful, I can trace out my penguin with some degree of fidelity. Whoops, that was not constrained. I need to constrain it. So what I want is when I switch back to the front view, it should still be lined up on my penguin, right? So as I do this, I'll just finish going, going up to the top of his head here. In fact, I'm going to grab all of these and slide them over all at once because I can see that I missed pretty big time. And slide that over, scale it, oops, scale it down along the Y, constrain it, constrain it. And again, I'm getting the head, I'm looking for the head, not the beak here. So I, I'm not going to try and match up the beak shape there for right now. So I now have this tracing of the top half of the penguin. And if I look at this, I'll switch it back to solid so we can see a little bit more clearly. We can start to see a little bit of a penguin possibility to this shape. We're not in love with it, but it's a penguin possibility. If I now, because this is, this is an organic shape, decide that I want to add a subsurface modifier to this, and I crank it up a little bit, I can actually see, as I look, as I look at my penguin, from the front, from the side, this is a much better you know, approximation of the penguin. I'm actually going to do this as a... Uh, smooth, 
the vertices so we don't we aren't distracted by the little facets and as I spin around this, we're starting to actually see a penguin shape emerging. If I were to continue this down, I could do the bottom half of the penguin, and I could finally apply this shape so I actually now have a mesh that is my penguin that I can work with.